Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Ikehime and welcome to my channel. So this is a illustration of Megavine Luca from Vocaloid. She is probably one of the Vocaloid that I draw the most. And um, she was actually part of a Patreon illustration poll a few months ago that um, I actually I had inked a long time ago and everything but some stuff came up and some projects I was working on and trying to finish so I ended up putting on this on the back burner and I finally got back to uh, finish this up so I'm really happy to finally have this done because I do have another Patreon illustration that I have to do yet um, and uh, like a couple of things I'm trying to balance everything out right now but a lot of the background I had already done before I started recording um, I well, typically, if I have an idea for background already, I will just go ahead and do that before I start recording, um, because the thinking process and the putting it all together usually takes a lot longer than uh, <laughs> than I'd like to admit, and it's usually pretty basic and boring. So, uh, sorry, the background is already done, but it, it promise it's very simplistic, so it's it wouldn't be interesting to watch anyways. Um, but but yeah. So, um, Luca is probably one of my favorite Vocaloid aesthetically. I love pink-haired characters, and I find her design to be very elegant, and I really love drawing pretty elegant characters, and I think that out of all of the vo Vocaloid, she has one of the coolest designs, and she has the most going on. Um, I feel like she's at a good level of complexity, like she has a more complex design, but it's not so complex that you don't want to draw it, so um, I really do enjoy this character in general. And I feel like she is very fitting of like a more somber down tone. Like I feel like she can be like a happy character, but she's just very pretty and I feel like that She's not that cutesy, peppy kind of character, so that's what I really enjoy, that's what I am drawn to in characters typically, so I was very excited that she won the poll and I got to draw her, especially because I, um, I've i drawn her several times in the past, and um, I like doing redraws of my old art because I like to see the um, progression of style and, you know, just the improvements and stuff like that, so you will get to see that at the end of the video. I did include the artworks um, from 2012 up to the present one. So you'll get to see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so uh, I recently reformed my Patreon, basically. Uh, so um, I know I didn't have like a lot of patrons there or anything like that, and that's that's totally that's totally fine. Um, Patreon in general has kind of always stressed me out a bit. Uh, I, I just I feel like a huge obligation to be doing things all the time, and I don't always want to do things, or there are other things that I have to do, and I feel bad for neglecting Patreon here and there. Um, so I basically I just changed up my Patreon. It is just a tip jar now. The only tier that I have available is a one dollar tier. You can pledge more than that if you desire, but it really is just like one dollar. And that gains you access to like whatever I post there, which is usually like work in progress and line arts and stuff like that. So um, you can check that out. Uh, any exclusive content that I decide to post there, which there probably won't be much of, but if there is anything that I want to post there exclusively, then that will go there. And just one dollar will get you all of that. Um, of course, like no pressure or anything to try and pledge to it. If you want to support me, Patreon is not the only way to support me. Um, you can check out my shop, which I honestly, I much prefer it if people would just get things from my shop or commission me because it's just kind of like a stress-free thing. Um, and I don't like, I don't feel like a nagging obligation for no reason, you know? So that is the preferred method that I like people to support me with. But whatever you decide is totally fine. My Patreon is open. It's whatever you're comfortable with. And um, yeah, so that is the uh, update on that. Links, again, in the description box down below. I say it in every video and it's on the bottom of like pretty much every video. So you can always find my Patreon links there as well as my shop and social media and all that cool jazz. So yeah. Um, for the overall feel of this piece, I definitely had a very, like, sad, down, like, singing a ballad type feel in mind for this piece. And I think that it came out quite well. Um, there are a couple things here that I would probably have considered changing, mostly color-wise. Um, uh, like, with the, with the lighting, pretty much. But um, I'm not very good at lighting, so I feel like this is probably a pretty positive step, and it, you know, it's... It is what it is, and I do think it came out nice overall, um, and you know, just still a learning process and all of that cool jazz, and I'll get there eventually, but for right now, this is, this is what it is, and I, I can be happy with that. 
Um, so yeah, <laughs> originally I really had more to say about this because God, I really don't. Um, <laughs> Vocaloid was uh, a very huge part of my childhood, um, and I, I say childhood, but it was really probably only about 10 years ago, so like not exactly my childhood, like a little bit beyond my childhood, I don't know, but Vocaloid was one of those things that I, I feel like most people discover first when they get into anime and, you know, the Japanese culture and all that stuff. It's usually Vocaloid that, that shows up first and they're super into Vocaloid for a few years and your parents are like, God, what the fuck is that music? Um, <laughs> I was definitely that kid. I listened to vo Vocaloid all the time and every time I found a new song, I was like super excited and I would like want to tell my parents about it. And honestly, I am embarrassed for little me. <laughs> because no one cares, <laughs> but um, it was just, it was a very large part of who I was at the time, and I think it played a huge role in defining who I became as an artist and as a person. Um, not, not saying that it, like, influenced, like, my morals or anything like that, because, you know, obviously it didn't, but, I mean, as defining my interests and pushing me into a realm of something that I had very little prior experience with. Um, I feel like this was definitely a very key factor in um, who I ended up becoming uh, artistically. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, all the links, again, social media, shop, Patreon, they're all in the description box below. My dog has an Instagram if you would like to follow him. Uh, his links are also in the description box below. And uh, here are the, uh, the old artworks that I was talking about. And... Uh, <laughs> It's kind of nice to see side-by-sides. I love doing redraws, but um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!